when I was in California, you know, I had a little mountain, I bought a mountain. There was nothing up there, just some water. There's a, a water well, that was it. Nothing, no electricity, of course. So every night we had a fire to cook, yeah, and we um, brought a couple of trailers, old ones, used ones, a few thousand each, brought them up so we could live there, cook and shelter when it rained. And then later they felt sorry that I live in the old uh, second-hand trailer. So they nailed a wooden house for me, a little bit bigger wooden house. It was about maybe uh, three by three, something like that. And they bought a king-size bed and put it inside there. <laughs> oh, I could not believe it. <laughs> the king-size bed is for the king, no? <laughs> Okay, if they really wanted to exaggerate, they could buy a queen-size bed. <laughs> no, a king-size bed, put in that little wood and uh, do it yourself. <laughs> House, you know, with a tiny window, a little creaky door, and a king-size luxury bed with curve in your bed head, everything. The mat is as uh, thick as my size, as <laughs> thick as my height, you know. <laughs> You open the door, you jump right in the bed. <laughs> no, not jumping, climb. <laughs> I know why they have such a big bed in that small house. Because uh, once I came inside, I probably crawled to the other side, the wall corner, uh, like that. I'm safe, they thought, because if it's a small bed, then maybe if I roll over the bed, then I roll down the hill. <laughs> But if it's a big bed, then I probably had time to grab the, 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 the pole or something or the pillow and hold on to it. <laughs> and call for help, yeah? <laughs> you don't know that place, Hoa? Huh? San Jose uh, Mountain? You've not been there? No. You have been there? You are Sim, the road. Yeah, yeah. Uh, later we sold on huh? Because I wasn't there anymore, otherwise I like that place very much. <laughs> a lot of good memories and good laughs. I like it because we could make a fire. We didn't need to buy anything. Electricity we didn't need. We just bought battery, connected it with the nail and lamp, and we're done, inside. And just make fire every day, you know, cooking outside. We didn't have anything to chop the wood. So sometimes we get small wood, okay. Sometimes big wood, we just put the whole thing in. <laughs> yeah, in the middle, and then we put small wood underneath, and then finally it burns too. You didn't even need to buy any, anything. It's, it's so simple. <laughs> and we had good meals there. Well, hey, surprise. <laughs> uh, cooking with fire tastes very good, yeah. And we were maybe just five, six people at that time. Why well, did you eat there? Together at night? Yeah? I don't remember him, but if he says so. Hòa Phước á, à, phổ, phổ. Hả? Không phải Phước mà, có Phước Mập hả? I don't remember, phổ, biết phổ, phổ, ok. Yeah, you ask him, he went like this. And the, and the bed, what did they do with the bed after that? <laughs> huh? Sold it to disciples. Thank you. Master claimed on already. <laughs> And probably they uh, dismantled the wooden house and sold one piece at a time to, <laughs> to disciples, souvenirs, you know. <laughs> Master already breathed on it. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> uh, no, hold on to it. <laughs> it's her fingerprints are still there. <laughs> For climbing, you know, <laughs> or falling. <laughs> My God, can you believe such things? Master advises about the sustainable being. Uh -huh. Grow on your food. So Go what? Grow on your food. Uh, grow your own food, not grow on your food. <laughs> <laughs> so we took your advice and we started to grow our vegetables. Where? In Lucky House? Yeah, in Lucky. And you have no garden there? Yes, yeah, small, small garden, side of the Lucky. Yeah. And the garden of the house, and we started grow and grow very well, uh -huh. and it grow very big, like our vegetables, very like we have a whole tree of the oranges, uh -huh. like hundreds, yeah. and it grows a lot, uh -huh. and our vegetables grow so well, uh -huh. and it tastes so good, uh -huh. and they bow, 
is like like this big. Oh, uh -huh. bao, huh? Oh. <laughs> winter good. Yeah, winter good. Mm -hmm. It tastes so good. And cucumbers and tomatoes. It's so tasty. So we just yeah. harvest it and just eat like several uh -huh. like fruits. Yeah, so tasty. Oh, yeah, wonderful. And, mm -hmm. Good. And we have a lot of fruits and vegetables. Good. And we feel like it's gift from masters. Why? I didn't do it. <laughs> we can feel like it's like because it, it's so a small garden, but it gives us a lot of abundance to us. Yeah. And we feel love and blessings, so we very appreciate it and enjoy a lot. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. But you are a lot of people. How enough? Enough? Yeah. Enough. Yes. Yeah. And we have a tree full of tangerines. Uh, uh, good. Good. Yeah. You can even grow things under the trees as yeah. well. Yeah. And yeah. we have all sorts of uh, herbs. Uh huh. Make use of space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Uh huh. Cool. Say cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Why? <laughs> um, yeah, the story. Like, uh, not too long ago, Master, about like a few weeks ago, um, there was this customer, she's American, and um, she came to One World Master, mm -hmm. and I never seen her before. I think she's a new customer or something. But when, um, when, she, like, when she was counter, she ordered food, and the way she talked, I feel she's so different, Master. It's like, like in my head, I'm thinking, wow, I wonder if she's like uh, an angel or a goddess that, you know, manifests here. But I was thinking, she's so kind and she's so gentle and her energy, you feel she's so light, Master. She, yeah. But I'm like, oh gosh, my, my wisdom eyes not open. I can't see, I can't tell. And I was just thinking, you know, all those things. And then later on, she looked at me, Master, mm -hmm. and she told me, you so kind, you exact words that what I had in my mind. About her. Yes, exact whatever I thought about her, uh -huh. she repeated back to me. Uh -huh. And then I'm like, oh my gosh. And then before she left, Master, she turned around and she looked at me. Um, whatever I thought about, like, um, either you are saying or like, I was thinking whether she's a saying or God, she looked at me, you like a saying or goddess. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Lucky you didn't think anything. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes gods and goddesses, they come to visit, no? Yeah. They just want to let you know, be careful what you think, because other people can read. That's what it is, okay? Yeah. She just wanted to encourage you to think positive. Yeah, that's what it is. You see? Very clearly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. How many more of you like that? How many visits? Just that one, huh? <laughs> Lucky one, huh? See, some people can read your thoughts. It's not just about saints or angels, but she just wants to warn you that. Be careful what you think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's transparent. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder why we bother wearing clothes or makeup because everybody, most, <laughs> everyone can see us, you know, through and through. <laughs> That's why some Indian yogis or yoginis, they don't bother wearing anything. Also troublesome, yeah? Go shopping <laughs> and sewing, yeah? And washing and then ironing. <laughs> and you have to have a washing machine if you're old like me. <laughs> you know, too tired to wash. It's good news, huh? Anything else? Well, even though we didn't see God or Goddesses, but at the performer's rehearsal, um, a friend of one of the performers said, I see that cute girl from the poster coming to rehearsals every day. Mm. So they saw you, your manifestation body somehow. Oh yeah? <laughs> and you guys are all blind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always a way for other people to tell you. Why, Master? I don't know. You ask yourself. <laughs> ask yourself. I don't know. It's not just you guys, other brothers and sisters of yours. Initiate same. Always a family member who is not initiated tells them, Oh, your master came. <laughs> I said this and that and others, yeah. But it's also good like that, yes. Because like that they also believe that, that what you told is true. 
Yeah? You believe already anyway, so maybe you see or not see, it doesn't matter too much. Because Jesus said, bless are the ones who don't see but believe. <laughs> he means the blind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I also have miracles, you know, I, I make all the blind see. <laughs> <laughs> now and then they see a little bit, and they're still blind, but they can see a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why that's why I had to invite you to here to eat because otherwise you couldn't see anything. <laughs> Just a physical body, huh? Yeah, it's always the same. Eh? This story is the same everywhere. <laughs> Just like those journalists who told you that the, the girl came advertise for herself. <laughs> Remember the woman? Why does she advertise for herself? I wouldn't do such thing. <laughs> Imagine you go out and distribute flyers with your photo on it. Here, I am the master. Look at me. <laughs> Take one. Get the blast. <laughs> yeah, but like like that, you, even if you couldn't see, you believe more also. And the outside people or the non-initiates, they also get to believe something. It works in both ways, eh? Yes. Anything else? With your infinite transformation bodies, Master, uh, can you set them to sit in all the blessing levels at the same time? Sure, sure, can. Uh, most Masters can do that. Why? You want one? <laughs> you can put several of them in the uh, karmic uh, immunity area at the same time. Several in? The karmic uh, immunities. While, while you're here with us, maybe ah, some yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. No, it doesn't work for me. <laughs> I'm not allowed to use my own power to do things for myself. Otherwise, it would be too easy. It doesn't work that way. You have to sign the pack. Yes. But uh, but nowadays I can manage better, you know. Like I can put it on hold for a while or something until I'm finished doing something. It's okay then. <laughs> okay. If you have nothing more important, then we go, huh? Thank you so much, Master. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Maybe you enjoy, yeah. Yes, Master. Yes. Uh, you guys like some cakes? You like the cake? Yes. Okay. That's no, okay. <laughs> Don't worry. That's my thing. Do you have uh, three portions of similar vegan cakes? Yes. Okay. Can you pack me three? One for my driver and two for these two uh, drooling planets. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can take home and eat it. Yeah. Okay. See Anna. See Anna. I see bole Cleon. Who see? Oh no! But my mom may I pray? Oh. Okay. Um, what is it? Symbolic. Okay. Um, one, two, three. Three of you can go in my car. Three. Who raise hand first can go. Three. <laughs> Only two. Ah, uh, uh, okay, three. Good. Let's go. And everybody else try to wait for cars then. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, is a world-renowned spiritual teacher, humanitarian, and artist. To learn more about her compassionate life and teachings, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash master. Wicked people, hard to train, kill harmless beasts as sacrifice to gods and for their ancestors to gain protection, profit, and fulfill their aims, to buy the meat to which to eat it is indeed an evil act. Kalachakra Tantra Buddhism